It is 6.40 in the morning. We survived another overnight bus ride and now time to go to sleep for at least like a few hours. Mm. And then we explore split. <laughs> We've emerged into the outdoors. It is 3.30 p.m. We slept most of the morning catching up from the overnight bus. That is like my least favorite thing about taking overnight buses is we lose half a day on the other side catching up on sleep. It's kind of fun though. Good friend and travel podcaster Travis on Extra Pack of Peanuts did a episode on his trip here with his wife to Split and Rubneck. We listened to it on the way here, and he talked about this fried calamari that he got at this restaurant that just changed his life. So that's why we're here, and that's all we ordered. It's here. Mm, yum. Before we started traveling, I used to listen to podcasts every single day when I went running. And I remember listening to this podcast and hearing about this best fried calamari in the whole world. So I've probably been looking forward to this meal for over a year. <laughs> that looks awesome. Mm. Does it live up to your expectations? I like it. It's lightly breaded, so you're not getting like way too much of the breading. Not super chewy like how Mari normally is. She's a little excited about the warm weather. Man, please get off the seawall. After finishing the whole plate, the calamari was probably not as life-changing as I had hoped for. Our favorite calamari in the world is still what we had in the Qantas First Class Lounge in Sydney. Hands down. Never think sitting in an airport lounge you get better calamari than like two steps away from the ocean. It's true. about two hours on the boardwalk. Are we on the boardwalk? We just spent way too long looking at boats walking up and down the harbor. So far I love Split. You're just soaking in the warmth after like being cold for the past two or three weeks. This is so nice. And now we are heading into the old city to do a little wandering around. We really have like no plans for the rest of the day. So just enjoy this beautiful city. We're not sure what this is yet, but it looks really old and really broken. <laughs> I think we might need to do a walking tour. This is awesome. I did not realize that there was this much history in Split. I thought it was just like a really cool beach town. I feel like we're inside this historic area that like in other cities would be like roped off and you'd have to pay to go in as a tourist, but they've just like literally built the town of Split inside of these ancient Roman ruins. It's crazy. They just look like they just built this hotel, like right in between these ruins right here. And I'm all about preserving. I think that's great, but I think it's really cool how they've embraced it here. Just living it. Been here, out about for three hours, loving the city. We bought tickets to climb the bell tower for sunset. Is there a <laughs> Yeah. These people must have been giant. Wow. A few more stairs to go. 
think it was already worth paying for this view. Carrie, you're so fast. Sorry, I couldn't stop taking videos. This bee is literally eating a fly right now. So gorgeous! Here you go. Hey, should we do it? <gasps> On camera, should we document it? How long is it going to take? You got sick the day of our party. We haven't, we haven't kissed since crack out. Because I wasn't feeling good in crack out, then I actually got sick in Bratislava. It's probably been two weeks. Making up for lost time here. Yay! Let's go. <laughs> 